Hey everybody, Chad here from Far Beyond Snoopy, and it's time for another beverage review, and uh, I, I guess that's what I'm calling it. This is a Hoplark Hop Tea product, and you know, it's not really like a tea, but it's not really like an NA beer, so not really sure what to call it. I've just been saying beverage, just because that's kind of where it, where it feels like it belongs for me. Um, but today we are talking about Hoplark's Hop Tea. This is the, uh, the green tea one made with uh, mosaic hops, and then we'll just... Uh, Take a little walk around the around the can there. Um, they're uh, Hoplark. They're based out of Boulder, Colorado. I found this when I was at Whole Foods recently. It was very surprising. I was checking out and I was near the uh, non-alcoholic beer section of their their little cooler, and I saw these there. And I love green tea. Green tea is one of my favorite things. I drink it every single day. But I also like hops. I'm a big IPA guy. So I saw tea and hops and I was very excited I bought the whole line to try out but green tea is my favorite tea so this one was the one out of the entire bunch I was the most excited to try out so let's pour it up and I'll go ahead and show you this real quick um, pretty pretty decent head on it uh, pretty good amount of carbonation I know I'm reviewing this like it's a beer and I'm drinking it out of one of my beer glasses but it's not really like technically a beer so I, I apologize in advance but I'll go ahead and check this out Mm. Oh, that's good. Okay. Um, now, of course, this is uh, gluten-free, non-GMO, Whole30, low no sugar, vegan, non-alcoholic, hits all those marks. Um, but beyond that, I'll tell you a little bit about what they say about it. It says, do you smell that fruity floral goodness? That's mosaic hops. Perfectly complementing our favorite organic imperial green tea. Now, I like green tea, but I've never had imperial green tea. That makes me curious. Um, this light, bright flavor is created for those who do not accept normal and boring for their refreshment. Um, no IBU to speak of. ABV, of course, alcohol-free. Um, got this from Whole Foods again. 16-ounce can here and uh, $2.50 a can. And on their hoppiness scale, it's rated as quite hoppy. Um, just enough to enjoy, not too much to stammer. These almost light hops are choice for taste buds that prefer nuances and uh, lighter flavors. All right. I know, I'm ready to talk about this one. I, I, ever since I first saw this one, this is the one I was, I was the most curious about. Almost a... Uh... Okay, you can smell the tea. Some grassy notes, some herbal notes, some floral notes. Almost like a, like a sweet, like berry presence to it. Hops and tea though are, are clear. Um, something berry-like in there. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, I showed you the body there. Uh, carbonation is starting to die down a little bit. It is a thinner beverage in the mouth, but a, a pretty moderate amount of carbonation, kind of like a good carbonated water. Flavor profile on this one is extremely interesting. Like, I can taste the green tea. I mean, I love green tea. I drink it every day, so I could pick that out of a police lineup from a mile away. Um, but the hops flavor really adds something to it. It's like a... I mean, it's like green tea with hops. That's what it is. That sounded dumb. But, I mean, you guys know what I'm saying? You wouldn't ordinarily think to mix tea and hops. It's just... It's crazy that it works out the way it does because it's, it's so good. Uh, I know. It's... This stuff, it's so surprising to me. Between this channel and my other channel, I've reviewed a few thousand products, and it's nice when something can still catch me off guard. But a really nice flavor. Definitely pick up the green tea, kind of a grassiness to it, um, some hops, kind of a floral note, um, kind of a, a little bit of pine on the finish. There's something sweet in there, though. I'm trying to peg down what that is. It's almost like a berry, like a mild berry, but it's it's very lightly sweet. That's very interesting. Now for the finish on this one, it goes down nice and smooth, just a really clean, smooth finish to it. Um, again, I pick up some of that pine, some of that berry on the back end, but it's, it's very interesting. I mean, the green tea and the hops are obviously the major players. The floral notes come in, the pine comes in, but there is kind of like a, a light... I don't know, kind of like a lightly sweet berry in there that I'm picking up. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's it's very interesting. But I really enjoyed it. I mean, this one is very flavorful. Um, the entire hot tea line is good, but this one was probably one of the more surprising ones. It definitely had a nice flavor. But that being said, we need to find out what I ultimately thought about this one. Let's move on and check out my rating and my final thoughts, and let's see where this hot tea, green tea, ended up for me. Go ahead and mash that thumbs up button like there's no tomorrow. Leave a comment about how rad this video is. And most importantly, subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the bell to find out when we put awesome new videos up. Now, as far as my rating go, I'm a simple guy. 
do I like it? Do I really like it? Do I dislike it? Do I really dislike it? I haven't really disliked anything yet, but someday I'm sure. Or is it just average? Um, I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. I think that's what I rated the entire Hop Tea line so far. I didn't give anything two thumbs up, but everything was, I think, a thumbs up. Um, really enjoyable beverage. I mean, you know, like I've said throughout the reviews, you don't really think about mixing green tea and hops, or, or mixing tea and hops in general. Usually those are two completely separate things, but as someone like myself who really loves tea, and someone who really likes IPAs, uh, this really blends that together in an alcohol-free experience. It's a very refreshing flavor, very summery, very bright, very enjoyable. Um, just not what you would expect anyone to make, but now that it exists, I want more of it. So I'm definitely going to have to buy some more next time I'm at Whole Foods, or maybe online. I'm going to see if I can buy online so I'd like to buy a bigger box of it and see if that's a way to get it a little bit cheaper um, but this one and the hoppy one probably the ones I'm gonna get more of because they were both like the most flavorful out of the entire uh, the entire family so yeah that about wraps it up for me guys as always thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video I enjoy making them for you don't forget to like comment subscribe and uh, you know we'll see you next time here on far beyond snooby with another beverage review cheers <laughs>